All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look uh, and a comparison between these two um, Black Adams. And uh, the one without a cloak comes with a picture of the rock in costume and two uh, energy effect pieces. And then the one with the cloak comes with a sketch version, uh, a, a cartoon version of uh, Black Adam. Black Adam, not Adams. Is it Adams or Adam? Adam. So yeah, these are the two versions. And if you're wondering which one to get, I will tell you that you should definitely get the one without a cloak. Because uh, this one has way more articulation than this one. So before I go into uh, details and all that stuff, uh, first I want to show you the articulation real quick so you can decide which one you want to get. So this one, it looks like it has head movement, but it, in reality it doesn't. Uh, you can see how it bounces back and then I realize, hey, something is wrong. Why is this not moving like that? So I went ahead and took it apart and then I realized um, uh, photos uh, I'm attaching here shows you that the uh, the neck portion uh, does not have a um, have a does not have a, a socket joint, nor does the uh, the top of the head. Uh, there is no socket joint on those uh, two sections. Uh, basically, it's just a um, it's meant as a uh, static piece, not for him to turn. His head's not supposed to turn. And then, um, if you take the cloak, uh, the hood uh, off you will see that the rock has a fully sculpted face but back of the head is not. Uh, there are hollow sections <clears throat> on his head. I guess uh, part of it is to connect the connect it, connect it with the hood and the other maybe to save plastic so they hollowed it out a little bit. But that's this guy for you and uh, yeah this guy looks great. Uh, the cloak does look great, but if you're looking to pose your figure, uh, you definitely don't want to get this one because this one is a static standing pose here. Even though it has articulation points like shoulders and stuff, uh, there's full range and then elbows full range, just double jointed and then wrists, same thing, full range and uh, the torso does have a uh, ball joints up here is a really good ball joint actually and then the legs are these uh, McFarlane joints those uh, hinges the T hinges and then uh, the legs double jointed and then there is a hinge around the ankle and also toes articulation looks like yeah look at that but uh, as far as movement is concerned you could get him to do uh, floating poses like uh, mid-flight uh, those you could give him, but uh, flying poses I wouldn't suggest it because his head cannot look up, so there's no point in him looking. Well, no point in him flying. He could do a, a floating pose, kind of like that. That would be nice. Now for this one, and this is the one you want to get. It has a fully sculpted head, so everything is connected and uh, head movement. Look at that. He could look up quite a bit. Look at how far up he could look up. And then so if you want to do any of his uh, signature flight poses you could totally do that look at that he, and he's looking straight too he's not looking down or anything so we'll just prop prop his chest up a little bit and then go full range uh, uh, full extension for the head movement and you can get him to do a flight pose And then as far as articulation for the rest is exactly the same as the other one. It's just there's a lot more head move, movement with this one than the other one, and which helps them with uh, doing different poses, even something like uh, standing, getting ready to punch someone type of poses. He is still better than the other one. So let's uh, take a, uh, let me do a close up on both of them so you guys get to get the full details of, uh, of these two figures. Let's take a look at the rock head sculpt. Quite nice. Not perfect, but I think they did a fantastic job with it. Much better than other characters they did, like Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Those are horrendous, but the rock turned out great. And you can see his outfit. There's a lot of uh, detailing on his outfit. 
It's a lot of patterns and scratches look like uh, on the on the suit itself. And then one thing I also noticed is that the, the belt here is gold and the gauntlets are gold and uh, so are the boots. But on this version, the, the belt is not gold, gauntlets are not gold, and the boots are not either. And uh, I think the chess emblem is actually brighter on this one than on the other one. So let's take another look. Take a look at the rest of this figure. And here's the rock from the bag. It reminds me of Superman's uh, costume. It has a lot of patterns on it too. And then here's the one with the cloak. It does have a better... Uh, I think it's... I think the head sculpt's the same, it's just one is painted a little bit better. I think the eyes are better on this one. It looks more like more like the rock than these eyes. But uh, yeah, it looks like the same head sculpt. It's just um, the connecting portion is different with uh, with this one. But, uh, for the most part, I guess we'll just look at the cloak. There's a uh, markings on the cloak itself and uh, there is a gold over it. And here's the back of the cloak. Right here down here you can see there's a gold color all over it. So again, if I were you, I would pick the the one with no cloak because uh, it'll give you a little more fun to play with than the uh, the one with the cloak. The cloak is meant for standing only and then uh, the hands are different. This one has open hands while the, um, the, the one with no cloak has a pair of fists on. So I guess you could interchange the hands if you want to or I mean only if you if you purchase both. Otherwise then uh, you're stuck with one or the other. So there you go, there's McFarlane Toys, uh, Black Adam's figure, uh, and uh, yeah, you can make decision, uh, decision on uh, which one to get, and uh, hopefully this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.